<clears throat> Hello and good afternoon all. This is gonna be another Dungeon Dragons um uh video. This is gonna be why I thought to me being a player is so much better to be chaotic evil than any other alignment. And not because I want to play by guy, because I need a reason to play bad guy. It's because they have the most freedom. But before I get to the reasons, could you all hit the like and subscribe button to help me out? Now here's why Chaotic Evil is the best alignment to play. One, you don't have to give a shit about nothing or no one. I had this character named Logan, and he did whatever he wanted, when he wanted, and didn't care about nobody. To a point, he did have one friend, and that one friend, he would come close to dying for. He would not die for him. He's too selfish to die for someone, but... He would back him up. His one friend's got a half ogre barbarian, and Logan was a human fighter. And anything that Scott needed help with, Logan's the first one to show up, just because he knows it's going to be fun. Two, Logan was the most honest person ever in my campaign world. He never lied, he never hedged his bets, he never tried it. Even our lawful good pain paladins and clerics and stuff would lie so they wouldn't hurt other people's feelings and would, and would lie to try to keep the peace. Logan would say what he wants when he wanted it. He had no filter. All the other player characters, players, and the player characters and the MPs, the hirelings and stuff, just called Logan the asshole. Three. It was just so freeing to have zero morality to back you up. He had some morality, but it was just so freeing just to, uh, today I'm going to go out and slaughter a village. That was fun. Most of the time he did what was right, not because he thought it was the right thing to do, it was because he got the money. He never had to find a deeper reason why he's doing anything. He ever paid him the most. That way he went. Wherever he saw he can make the most power, that's how he went. You never had to figure out why he's going to do something. You guys have to say, oh, what's the base, in, base emotion, base instinct? And that's why Logan did it. And Logan kind of had three other people ha hanging around. There was Scott, the half ogre barbarian that was chaotic neutral. Selena. In second edition, she was a witch, a neutral witch. But in third edition, she changed over to being a lawful neutral sorceress. Who only cared about expanding her power base and uh, increasing her magic. And she saw Logan as a way, easiest way to get to it. Because he was... He was a sledgehammer. Smash it through the walls. And there was Gramps. He was a neutral good dwarven fighter. And Gramps got so um this asshole's gonna keep me alive. Everyone I keep him alive. Everyone else is gonna go after him. And um he's gonna kill them and whoever makes it past him. It's going to be easy for me to kill. Gramps was a pragmatic. And he was, out of the four, he was the la least 
least likely to um, be attacked first. Logan did have some evil magic items, artifacts that he carried around, but the other party members liked it because it kept it out of the hands of evil guys that would use them. Logan gets used them, gets to have fun. The other guys, evil guys, will use them to destroy. Now, have any of you guys ever had or used evil players in your campaign? If so, why don't you let me know down below. And, um, if you like what I do, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And as always, everyone, be safe, have fun, bye-bye.